What is the cringiest thing you have done to get a crush's attention? I liked a boy in the 7th grade. Every day I would buy a Gatorade and pretend I couldn't open it and ask him to. One day I did open and panicked. I tried to close it again as tight as I could and give it to him to open it for me. He called out on how easy it was to open and looked like it had already been opened. I wanted to climb under the bleachers. Told her on AIM I had a crush on someone. When she asked who. I waited a bit then typed you and signed off dramatically. We did not get married. I asked her out by parking outside her house and writing it on the windows of my car in car chalk. She sent the dog outside and said you should leave. My dog is outside he's pretty mean. W. Oof. I used to pole dance on a lamppost outside a boy's house when I was 13. I was young. Comma called crush's phone every 60 seconds for an hour. No answer. Repeat. I figured she'd pick up once she got home and I wanted to talk to her asap. Unfortunately. She was on the phone with someone else the entire time. Getting the you have another call notifications about incoming calls. Just wasn't responding to them. After about the 60th time she picked up and screamed what? And I tried to worm out of it like it wasn't me that had just called her over and over and over. She didn't buy it of course. This one still keeps me up at night 30 years later. We had a foreign exchange student my freshman year of high school. She was French and absolutely gorgeous. So naturally. All of us boys were smitten with her. She was in choir and sang really well. So I figured since I was a musician as well. That was mine with her. So. I busted my ass and learned a love song from a very popular French opera. It took me a really long time to memorize and I thought it would be a bold gesture. So. I sang it to her flawlessly and asked her how she liked it. Thinking that taking the effort to learn a love song in her language would be a great gesture. Well. That day. I found out that she was Swedish. Not French. I'm fking stupid. My crush was a kid who lived down the block from my house. I stole his dog from his yard and then went to his front door to return it and get to talk to him. He said he saw me take him out of the yard. I avoided him after that. In kindergarten. I proposed to my crush by yelling across the playground. Didn't get an answer back. In high school. I got some presents for my, different, crush's birthday, barely talked to her in person because I was painfully shy. But always talked to her on AIM, went up to her awkwardly with a red face. Gave her the presents. Said happy birthday and walked away immediately out of sheer embarrassment. She told me later she liked the gifts. In 12th grade I had a huge crush on this guy in one of my classes. I knew his favorite book and movie was Fight Club. So I googled everything about it, along with watching the movie. On Valentine's Day. I sent him a card that said I want to have your abortion and gave him my phone number. Pretended that I didn't give a shit about them or that I was madly attracted to them. Played it cool. Semicolon. Guess how many times it worked? None. Still doing it at 21. Sheepishly handed her a letter and ran away in like 10th grade that would have been like a d rambly mess in speech form that basically said hey you're cool want to hang out sometime? In 3 paragraphs because I was nervous as all fck and didn't know how to people. Funny thing is that she brought it up again in senior year and asked if I wanted to catch a movie or something. 13 years old. I learned my crush had taken ballroom dancing lessons. Delighted to have something to talk to him about. I proceeded to harass him all of homecoming with what I probably thought was good natured ribbon. Looking back. I was being an arsehole and straight up making fun of him. Poor guy took it like a champ. But f king hell I had no idea how to be social. Sorry. Phil. Once I was was 14 I accidentally sent a picture of me in a super fancy dress to my crush because I wanted him to ask me to the dance. I was 15 and I had a crush on this boy for 2 years. One day a friend of mine told me that he was about to ask me out. He came up to me. 
Said hello and while anxiety took the best of me I wanted to look cool so I said. HM. Do I actually know you? Are you new in school? He instantly turned around and left. We had been classmates since elementary school. Early college years. She mentioned offhand that she was reading The Hunger Games. So naturally I read the entire trilogy and then tried to bring it up in conversation. She wasn't into me and that certainly did not help. 9th grade. Last day before Christmas break. There was a girl on the school bus who was once into me earlier in the year but had now called off for some reason. I needed to get the fire going again. So I was going to bring Miss Leto on the bus. Pull it out of my backpack at some point. And be like. Oh yeah. This stuff grows everywhere. I was just picking some of it this morning while I was waiting for the bus. And that's all. What I was hoping for was that she would get the nerve to kiss me since I was holding Miss Leto. Well. Miss Leto grows high up in the tree. Hum. So I cut off a piece of holly and trimmed the thorns off of it because who really knows what Miss Leto looks like anyway. So I'm sitting on the bus. She's sitting behind me. And I'm working up the nerve. Then the bus stops. This guy gets on. And immediately proceeds to give this girl a rose. And she gets excited and hugs him. And I'm sitting there with a trimmed holly branch in my backpack. Semicolon. Semicolon. I confessed to her that I liked her friend so she would help me get with her. I did it so I could spend more private time with my actual crush. Worked like a charm. Plot twist. She agreed to help you so that she could spend more alone time with you. In elementary. I went to school with a couple dudes that were very gymnastically inclined. They would do a double backflip off the swings instead of just one. They would do flips off the monkey bars. Standing backflips. Wall flips. You name it. The girls loved them. They would sit and be an audience for these guys every lunch almost. I got jealous. I practiced on my trampoline for a few days. Tried some hand springs, which I got pretty good at. Forwards not backwards. Then the next time they were showing off. I joined them. Boom guy number one comes running through. Hand spring. Cartwheel. Backflip. Backflip. Guy number two comes bolting behind him. Cartwheel into aerial. Into backflip. Here I come. Cartwheel. Into back handspring. Oh wait. I don't know how to do one backwards. Land on my neck. Wind myself. Start crying. I'm running a 5k tomorrow for no other reason than she is and I'm going to have a heart attack. Did it. I appreciate all the positive comments and I'll remember your support when it gets tough tomorrow. Thanks for the silver I feel famous. Update. Since asked. Just finished only stopped twice and my time wasn't too bad either. I thought about this thread when it got tough a few times so thanks again for the support. As for the girl. I started smoking. That mistake lasted 15 years after 14 year old me moved on from that crush. Yep. Me too. We worked together at the local ice cream shop. She said. I'm going to pick up some smokes. You want anything? Me. Yeah. I'll take some smokes too. She. With one eyebrow arched. Oh. Uh, what kind? Me panicking. Oh. Whatever you're getting is fine. And that's how I started smoking Marlboro menthol lights. Back when I was in middle school I had a crush on this girl. I was into writing at the time so I put her in a fantasy story I wrote. Where she was a warrior. She hated it and told everybody. And showed them the copy I gave her. This did not help my bullying. I still die from thinking about the cringe. Become a writer. Get your script adapted into a HBO series. Win best adapted screenplay. Call her out in your acceptance speech. Mick drop. I had a crush on this girl that was a friend of mine's cousin at his 14th birthday party and she had a helium balloon tied to her wrist. So I hatched a plan and not so subtlety untied it a bit while talking to her so it would float to the ceiling and only I could reach it for her because I was the tallest boy at the party. 
except the ceiling was higher than I anticipated so I had to stand on something and jump and when I jumped I farted and when I farted it was a wet one and my Jean shorts were white. Put an entire pack of bubble yum in my mouth and tried to chew it. Ended up drooling on myself. She left the lunch table. FCK. That hurts to type. My own tale of cringe. I had a crush on a guy who I had two classes with. It made sense in my 15 year old brain that intense eye contact would signal to him that I was all in. Every time we had to talk about something. I stared directly into his eyes without blinking. Also. I read that people like large eyes. But I couldn't do makeup, since mascara makes your eyes look larger, so I would make my eyes as wide as I could. This also meant that if I was talking to another boy, I should look away as much as possible so he didn't think I was into them instead. So the guys in the class thought I was really standoffish and I'm sure he thought I wanted to murder him. Sorry. Jack? Log in and out of MSN Messenger, when it was still a thing. When I was in 6th grade. I would yell a lot and be extremely loud when around them. It didn't work. Oh god man. Why you gotta bring up these memories? There have been a few. But one of them was I made this girl a mix CD and did a shtty photoshop cover for it and everything. I don't want to suffer alone. Leaned over in English class every day and copied his handwriting until ours matched. I had this theory that if our handwriting looked the same he would fall in love with me. But he turned out to be mean. And I wound up with pretty handwriting. He noticed and made terrible fun of me in front of his friends on one of the last days of school. Grade 7, and I was crushed. Oh. Caleb. You were so handsome in your monster energy hat. How could you? Comma if our handwriting looked the same he would fall in love with me. Comma you were so handsome in your monster energy hat. This is the funniest one to me. In high school I tried to deep throat a burrito in front of my crush. IDK. 14 year old me thought that would be SI or something. Cue me choking horribly for about 5 minutes straight while trying not to vomit. Tears streaming nonstop down my cheeks. And half of a spit up bean burrito from Taco Bell all down the front of my clothes. Freshman year was a tough one lol. Post dumb IG stories just to see if she viewed. In elementary school. Climbed onto a snowbank during recess and basically did the 2003 version of twerking. In snow pants. I was maybe 14 at the time and saw my crush riding their bike down my street so I ran to grab a blanket. Dashed outside. Laid out on the lawn and pretended to talk really loud on the phone. This reminds me of that comment on a similar thread a few weeks ago where the girl would just go sit on the side of the road in front of her crush's house and read a book as if that were a totally normal thing to do. As a dumb little kid I got on a swing near her and her friend group so that I could jump off. That wasn't the impressive part though. I'd first act like I had a rough landing, not a botched one. Mind you. That wouldn't be cool liar, and kinda scrape myself up on the wood chips. I'd then act like it was really devastating but I could easily walk it off because I was just that goddamn tough. My dad tells this story of when he was like 9 years old. He was waiting at his school bus stop with a couple of girls that he liked. There was a big ass rock by him that was like a mini boulder. He told the girls he could throw this rock over a moving car. I guess he wanted them to think he was strong or something. So he waits for a car to drive by. Lifts and chucks the giant rock but instead of going over the car. It crashes into the car's windshield. The car stops and the preacher of his church comes out. Super pissed. My dad then booked it home. Oh god I made a fake Facebook account to post on my wall and talk to him so it looked like I had made friends. I thought it would be a real winner if I intentionally played a mandolin very badly while belting out an off-key self-written tune with the only lyrics being FCK me. Now. I did it in front of a friend of mine and he thought it was hilarious so. Naturally. Women and men having the exact same sense of humor. I figured this was a surefire win and we would be planning our wedding in a fortnight. She did not. However. 
respond favorably to my most humble supplications. When I was in like third grade or something, I pulled my shirt down below my shoulder. I'm a guy. A teacher called me out too. This hurts to remember. On summer break after my 6th grade. I saw the boy I had a crush on at a festival in my hometown. Had no idea how to get his attention. So I deliberately. Comma placed my foot in front of a woman pushing a baby buggy so that she'd run over it. Made a big scene out of it and started to yell and pretend that it hurt really badly. It didn't. Poor woman looked traumatized. That's one of the stories that keep me awake at night. Oh and BTW. He did notice that and proceeded to laugh at me with his friends. What was I thinking? I lived in a neighborhood with an elementary school smack dab in the middle of it. Most kids knew where every other kid lived. I once put a bunch of ladybugs into a mason jar with flowers and poked holes in the top to provide air. I left it on her porch wrapped in a sock. All the ladybugs were dead by the time she got to it. Sorry. Erin. Asked if she wanted to make out. She let herself into my house one day. Walked up to my room and wanted to have sx. But me being the anxious, nervous idiot that I am. Didn't get any of her signals. Instead we ended up chatting for a while. Then as I was walking her home I asked her. She was super cool about it and didn't run away from me. Dot. Anyway as such is life. I eventually fked things up between us and she now hates me. Purposely avoided talking to her. Still know her now. Still kind of have feelings for her now. Still rarely talk to her. In this case it wasn't me. But my actual crush. I was hanging out with her. And she were kinda cuddled in a bench. And she started like rubbing her face against mine like cats do. It was really weird. But having a crush on her. I didn't say anything. I'm conversation died down and couldn't think of something to say so I spammed keys on the keyboard. Hit enter. And said my cat ran across the keyboard. High school freshman me thought that it would be a great idea to put paper clips in her hair. As in. Stab them through her hair bun. Not me but the girl who had a crush on me. In 6th grade she dropped me a paper from the 2nd floor and ran away. It said will you go out with me? Yes or yes. Full stop. She was angry at me the next day for not giving her the paper back but now we're still friends and she realizes how cringy it was. I still haunt her with that story. In high school. I learned tuba just to impress a girl cause she said she likes tubers. Turns out she only said that cause she was currently dating a tubist. Also. In 8th grade somebody left me the lyrics to a love song by the Beatles but changed all the names to mine. Even the ones that didn't make sense. Pretended to smoke crushed up winter greens as crack and ended up with a busted lip. Dot. In 1st grade I had a crush on this girl in my class. My nickname at the time was Snakebite. Adults gave it to me. IDK. Well I told her my nickname was Snakebite and it just so turns out that she loves snakes. So we became friends for a while. One day we were in music class sitting on the floor listening to the teacher. I thought this would be the perfect time to serenade her with the song of my people. So I started slithering around her in a circle making hissing noises. The teacher promptly asked me what on earth I was doing and embarrassment ensued. Became a fan of Aerosmith because he used to wear an Aerosmith t-shirt all the time. This was around the time Get A Grip came out. So like mid 90s. To this day I change the radio station when Aerosmith comes on. I remember sophomore year I sent a girl a carnation on Valentine's Day. She came up to me later that day and said. I heard you sent this to me. Do you wanna go out? And somewhere in my brain I thought this is a prank. I looked at her dead in the eyes and said. Nope. Someone else must have sent it. Looking back on it she definitely knew I sent it. She was part of the group that delivered them. For some reason or another. I had been bragging about my ability to spit a watermelon seed with deadly accuracy. 
the young woman to whom I had made these claims oh saw which probably should have sent her sprinting in any direction other than toward me oh saw challenge me to hit her textbook as a show of this alleged skill. I'd like to mention that I did not tell her to stand directly in front of me. Anyway. My first shot went wide. Sailing far off to the girl's left. She said something akin to her. And took to lightheartedly berating me for overblowing the scope of my abilities. As she was speaking. I fired my second shot. And against all odds. It landed directly in her mouth. Needless to say. We were both shocked. And in an effort to evoke some humor from the situation. I said something to the effect of well. Hey. Since we've sort of kissed already now. Want to make it official? Just in case you were wondering. It's definitely not the best idea to suggest tonsil hockey when your intended paramour is already suppressing gags. P.L. D.R. I shot my black load into a girl's mouth.